back. Today I wanted to do a quick video showing you guys how to put a white border around stickers that you create or um, words that you create um, or like phrases that you create. So let's just say like Netflix, the word Netflix. Um, how you can put like a white uh, border background or uh, like outlining to make it look like an actual sticker. Um, so I'm going to show you with a image today. So what I did was I just went into this, uh, this app and I found a image that I really liked and I colored it earlier. And then I just saved it into my photos, which is this one right here. And then once I saved it, I took it into my magic eraser and just erased the background, <clears throat> excuse me, the background and saved it as a PNG. So once you have that, or if you already have a PNG image that you would like to use, uh, then by all means use that. So the next thing that I'm going to do is go into this pixel mater, pixel whatever. And this is what the image is going to look like once you have it all done. Um, so it's going to have, as you can see, it does have this white, like, sticker-looking border. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm just going to make a new, um, just a new one. And you can use, a uh, of course, a blank. And eventually we are going to just take off the background. So don't even worry about the background. So what I'm going to do is go find my image. And I think it was that one. Yes. Okay, so now that you have your image in here, your PNG image, it has to be a PNG image for this to work. So what I'm going to do is tap on it and I'm going to duplicate that image. So I have two of these images and this works with pictures like uh, PNG images. Um, with like words, it is a little bit different. Um, so I can show you that in another video if you guys want to know how to do that. Um, so yeah, so now I'm going to take the bottom layer and tap on it and I'm going to go up here to my paintbrush and then I'm going to click on format and then I'm going to click on stroke and I'm going to turn that on and as you can see, the higher, uh, that I raise this, the more border that it's going to have. Um, so, and I think I did it about 35% on my other one. You can, like, make it higher or lower, whatever you want. And what you're going to do now, since you have that, like I said, I, I did put mine on, like, 35. I thought that was, like, the best looking one. And I'm going to tap on my color and click on white. And yes, it does. The bottom one kind of looks funny. But now what you're going to do is you're going to take your top layer and drag right over it and line it up. Like that. So now what you can do is I'm going to delete the white background so now you can see what the image looks like. So here's the bottom layer. And then here's the top layer, and I'm just going to add that on top. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, take my top layer up here on the little side panel and drag it on top of the other one, and that way it makes it one image inst <clears throat> instead of two separate images. And then from here, you can kind of play around. Um, you can go to Add Effects, and you can you know, make it look, you know, noise, um, you can add that, you can add a, like, light effect, and move this around, and, like, this is a pretty cool app to, you know, make simple stickers, I guess, um, you can, like, blur some of it out, like, just mess around and see what you like, but I'm not going to do any of that, um, I am going to add a drop shadow. So what I'm going to do is go back to format and add a shadow. And then you can also do the offset, like how much you want it to be offset from the image. And normally I don't like the offset on, or I take it all the way down to zero. And then the blurriness, you can blur it out. And that way it makes it, 
I don't know. As as you can see, if you look behind the sticker, uh, it makes it more blurry in the back. So I normally like it about 25 to 20, and the degrees or the angle I'm just going to leave as is. Um, and then reflection is just, it's showing like a reflection. Um, I don't mess with that, so I'm going to leave that as is. You can also go in and change the color of the blurriness. Um, you can customize it. Like, it's, it's pretty neat how you can do a lot of stuff with this. Um... And then you can also change the blend mode. You can dissolve it, darken, like just mess around with it and see what you like. And then um, I'm also, I think I'm going to also lock the uh, image so the sizing doesn't get uh, off, if that makes any sense. So, oops, you don't need that one. So, yeah, that is how you make a png image to look like a like printable cutout sticker i hope you guys find this video helpful and sorry that i sound so horrible i do have a really bad upper respiratory thing going on so i have been really sick so sorry if the voice sounds horrible but i hope you guys found this video helpful and if you guys have any requests please let me know and i will talk to you guys later bye